How's it going everyone? I'm A Rogers God 365 and welcome to part four of Game Dev Tycoon. Get started again. Alright. So oh, good judgment. Alright, bit late I think. Uh saddle apparently one second. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah. Alright. So last time we literally like last minute, like forty five seconds till the end of the video, I believe we realized that we have been using a super dated engine. We, um, we've been using 2D Graphics V2. We never, even though we unlocked it, we never um, researched 3D gra Graphics V1. So that's not great. So we're going to um, uh, unlock some more engine parts to uh, quickly add into there. And then we'll create a new engine. This guy needs. Oh, he just got here, I guess. He can do this. So, yeah. That's super late, actually. Trying to move saves around, um, which apparently is a bit complicated for this game. I guess I deleted something which kept track of, like, the actual in game achievements, not Steam achievements, of course. Uh, anyway, game history. Alright, life simulation. Not selling well at all, but okay. It's fine. Can't do anything about that. So yeah, just wait for this to get finished. Yeah, okay. Gotta send him on vacation now. Okay, send her on vacation. Now, yeah, life simulation, great combination. Gameplay, very important. Uh, life everyone great okay does this guy yeah okay so yeah we're going to uh, create a new custom engine we're going to use 3d graphics you want get rid of this to save some money simple cutscenes keep this for later um, I like to have some features that uh, they're cheap and uh, little things but um, even when it the sliders are way low out Adam anyway so yeah we're just gonna get everything in here all right what did he call the last one I'm just gonna quickly check that really quick um, how do you check engine oh I guess I'll just do it through here my name is Jeff okay let's see yeah it's super hard it's like I get tunnel vision when recording honestly it's pretty decently challenging to uh keep track of things 22 meme street there we go pretty good they'll get to work on that 95 tech points I've never done that before though uh, not recording I've never gone this long without making a second engine but oh we got to it now just uh, if we've been making games with a uh, 3d come on stop this is getting annoying I think you can turn that off actually let me just do that um, yeah okay whatever all right new engine engines now complete we are going to train some nah release another game actually all right well possibly get some uh, new topics I suppose mystery and Ralph over here can do Ninja, sure. And that's all. Alright, nice. Yeah. Looking pretty good. Getting a little bit low on capital, but our monthly expenses aren't... Well, I mean, I say that they're 63 grand, which isn't too much normally, but... I haven't been very successful this run. So we're going to make a ninja action game for... I don't think we want to drop the hundred hundred grand on this right now. We'll do it for new engine, of course. This is a bigger market share than this. I'm not sure if that's how it usually goes. Yeah, we'll do this, I guess. Master V, 22 Meme Street, Ninja Action Game, E for Everyone. Uh, Kung. Kung Pao C 
CSGO. Yeah, I still... It's it's hilarious how every time without fail, I'll record this and then I, uh... I think literally every episode of this, I've recorded it and then I got a notification that a friend's on. Should probably deal with, uh, make a mental note to turn that off later. Oh well. Let's see. Engine. Save game. Do every... Well, actually, we won't. We won't do anything for story. Game tutorials. Um... Yeah, I can do engine. Yeah. Deborah Burton. Um... She can do... Well, this guy will do gameplay, and then... I guess I'm doing both of these. That's... No, this guy will do story and quest. There we go. Nutty Sims is now off the market. It sold 45,558 units, generating 501,193 in sales. Not bad. Well, I mean, that... We can actually check really quickly. Oh, yeah, it made... It barely made a profit. So, 50 grand. Nice. Oh, well. Yeah, we are really starting to get low on capital there. Hopefully, this one is a pretty successful game. Yeah, definitely going to ignore dialogues. Um, I guess she could... Like, I don't know if uh, when it's super low, if some having someone with low stats and what you need for that, if it affects it at all, but whatever, we'll give her that. She'll do a he'll do AI nah never mind. Don't want it to be over worked. I'll do level design, that's fine. Don't need dialogues. Okay. Like I'm not sure if like if you you literally set the bird to nothing and then add that engine thing if it'll increase the uh points or anything. Like there's still things, it's been year, and it's not too complicated of a game, and I've played it for years, but I'm, there's still several things that I don't know about it. Or that I could still learn. Uh, Ralph Coster. It's, everyone's gonna be overworked, um, for medium games with just the three of us for now, so I'll just try and ease that, though. I'm not sure if they're overworked, if it gives more bugs or whatever, but... Oh well. Um. Yeah, Ralph can handle sound. I'll handle world design and graphics as well because I believe it uses a mix of design and tech. So that's fine. People are slightly overworked, but what can you do? Yeah, in this next monthly thing, we are going to um go over budget, which isn't great. Boss, I've discovered that some really dedicated fans of Pete's Nuts have created a fan game using a lot of the material from our game. They don't make any money with it, and it just seems to do it for fellow fans. Our legal advisors strongly suggest that we shouldn't allow this to go on. What do you want to do? Even when I'm playing as a real prick purposely, I I can't ever stop them. Um, because there's literally a, no point. I think it literally, in this, ex this game especially, like, does nothing for you if you uh well you might get some money or something so yeah we're uh over our limit if we reach 200 grand into the negative we'll go bankrupt and that's game over all right technology record increase new topic new combo deborah leveled up which doesn't increase stats which i think it does in game dev story which this game is uh heavily inspired by um Today, I'll get back to that. Today, Ninvento announced the much-anticipated successor to the popula popular TES console. This is the <laughs> this is the greatest console we we have ever built. It comes with state-of-the-art 16-bit graphics and sound. It is simply super, and that's why we decided to call it the Super TES. Fans around the world have been waiting for this moment, and it seems that they will not be disappointed. So yeah, the uh, Super NES uh, quotes in quotes is getting released yeah an average game well not average a good game not the best though enjoyable focus on artificial intelligence served this game well yeah 
Hi, I'm Denise Reed. I guess that's how you pronounce that, jeez. The main developer of the Pete's Nuts fan game. I've recently been informed that your legal department has advised you to stop us, and I just wanted to say that I'm very grateful that you didn't. These Nuts is the best company in the world, and I'm glad I can be a part of the fan community. We gained 297 fans. Nice. We're gonna generate game report, and we're going to train this guy um, in some more technology, I believe. And she... I don't know, do we want... Maybe we'll do uh, research, actually, for her. Oh, I forgot this guy was supposed to be the... Uh, designer actually he got such a close mix that he's turned into a tech person pretty much hate when that happens all right action master system i mean master v good dialogues not at all important ninja and action great combination okay expected we'll research some uh something while we're here a um, better user interface, I guess. Yeah. So anyway, I was gonna say something about game dev story, wasn't I? Um. Oh yeah, when you level up in um. Okay, it's been released. When you level up your uh, your people will level up as they release games. Uh, they will gain experience and level up on their own. And that won't give you anything, but it will increase their salaries, like they're getting an experience, although nothing really happens, you know. So you have to train them, actually. almost thought I fired that guy for a second. So you have to train them to actually get their skills up, and uh, some events will happen to do that, I guess, occasionally. But yeah, otherwise they just, you might as well train them, because otherwise they just level up and you spend more money for nothing. Anyway, yeah, I kind of have tra trouble keeping track of stuff in games anyway, but uh, it certainly doesn't help when I'm recording and constantly thinking of a bunch of different things. Uh, research some more. Level editor. He's back. He can research open world. Uh, I think we'll try and release a success more successful game than this and then get a designer proper designer Sold 80 80,000 units generating 880 sales 880,000 All right, so we're not going to release a new engine. We're going to uh, level up our graphics first Let this let us finish up now I'll create a new game do you want to try and get a publishing contract, actually? I could probably work out. Uh, Werewolf RPG, don't think I'll do that. Aliens, any genre, that could be something. Need to get the license, though. Racing action, that... Doesn't sound great. Yeah, so no, these are not uh, good platform matches. So we're just gonna try our luck at doing something on our own. We could do old fans though, publishing medium game games, I think it's most effective when you have a hundred thousand fans or something like that. Could be way off, but I'm not sure. Um So we just released a ninja game, eh? Let's go with Uh what should we go with? Dang. Can't unlock anything else too. I guess we'll go with a uh another racing game, racing simulation, tried and true. Not try well. It works on the on the game link. Uh, I suppose we'll just PC, I guess. Five grand, not not bad. Uh, race LMAO. I'm I'm keeping up with my terrible meme thing that aren't funny at all. It's working pretty well actually. All right, high gameplay. Hi, engine. Oh, I guess engine is actually um, lower than gameplay. I've never, never known that. Always put it the other way around. 
Story and quest is low though, I believe. So we'll go save game, game tutorials, and I guess linear linear story might as well. Oh god, another friend notification. Alright, I'll do engine. Ralph can do gameplay since it needs a mix. And story and quest as well. Yeah, I guess so. Don't want to overwork myself because right now I am definitely um, top for uh, both design and technology. Well, and everything, pretty much, I think. Yeah, alright. Alright, so I was right with this one, level design. Not as high as artificial intelligence, but... Um, Deborah Burton... I think this guy can probably work on dialogues actually. She is not at all. She is literally 44 design points, so. I'll do level design and she can do artificial intelligence. Do we maybe want to. No, I was going to say maybe we could reverse that order, but she is not great in design. The media is abuzz with the latest news from this year's entertainment conference. In a surprise announcement, Vani, a company known for general electronics, has pre present presented a prototype console called the play system apparently vani has collaborated with the ninvento creators of the beloved and successful tes and super tes consoles to develop what is basically a super tes with a cd drive this would be the world's first console using a cd drive journalists around the world are baffled as only one day after vani and nintendo jointly announced the play system at the entertainment conference things have turned sour Inven Invento announced today that they will cancel the project and instead seek to develop a new console with a different partner. Take a drink of water for a second. So yeah, that's the, um, rumor has it that the d distribution deal the companies had worked out was unfavorable to Invento handing over much of the control to Vani. This seems to be the end of the play system. So there actually was a, um, prototype. Nintendo and, uh, Sony were actually working together on a console that was going to be the PlayStation. It was still called PlayStation. And it, it did rather quickly fall apart. And of course, uh, Nintendo released the N64 and Sony released the PlayStation. So it was a real thing, although it was very brief and just a concept, I think. Well, there are some actual finished Prototypes, I suppose a couple exist, but uh, With like a, a test demo or two on them, but yeah, they're not They were never released so I sound high Something like that I feel like that's right um, Ralph needs a break Deborah will handle graphics and Ralph will still be pretty decently over taxed. Two months of TES will be taken off the market. Oh yeah, we're uh, pretty deeply in the hole now. Not great. We could definitely wouldn't want the series to uh, end early. I looked down at my phone and I literally again forgot to set a recording timer. So now, just like every other time, I'm going to have to, in the middle of the video, check to see how long we've been recording. It's literally just like the Steam friend thing. That just goes to show how uh, organized I am and on top of things. Oh, well, whatever. Research some more things. Big one, character progression. That leaves us. Yeah, we see that you're in financial difficulties. Oh, I had no idea. That was 120 grand. Jeez. Since you just released your latest game, Race LMAO, we are offering to offer you a. We are willing to offer you a mini credit to get you over this month's payments. We will give you 405,000 to cover your costs and be expected to pay back with. Be paid back the full amount, plus a small administration fee of 25,000 in two months' time. So we have to accept this, um, whether we like it or not. Don't want that. We want him to. Research another topic. 
So yeah, we had to accept that whether we liked it or not, or else the game would have literally just instantly ended right there and showed a score screen. Luckily though, this is a super hit game. So we're going to be able to pay that back, no problem. But we are going to want to, before we hire staff or something like that, we're going to want to make sure that we actually have at least like, I don't know, 250 grand in the bank or whatever they were asking for. Music. We're going to start making casual music games, which works super well. I've unlocked all these achievements years ago, literal years upon years ago. Two games for 566 on. So yeah, 1.3 million. Uh, we sold 100, over 100,000 units in a week and almost 300,000 in three weeks. So yeah, we have made quite a lot of money. Train, oh, I just used uh, training all our research points. Race LMAO, the newest games by D's Nuts, has caused a storm of good reviews and excited customers. Industry professionals say that Race LMAO is one of these rare games that will set a new quality standard for future games. It seems that D's Nuts really has made gaming history with the Race LMAO. Well done. You could kind of think that it's actually about race, but um, oh well. Train Ralph, good old Ralph, in game design. Oh my god, this these are getting annoying. We just got word it has recently released, racked up over 500,000 in sales. If the game were a music record, it would have gold status. We wonder how many more it will sell. So yeah, this is by far our most popular game. Uh, we've made quite a bit of money. Yeah, there we go, 430 grand. Oh no. Um, sound very important, okay. We're going to train her in, I guess, tech. She was supposed to be the main. I think we'll do speed, actually, for her. Basically, it makes them scratch their heads last night, I hear. Actually, continue working instead of stopping. We're going to go for show reel. I'm gonna go like all out, not a m two million. We'll do like six fifty. Show real for design. Yeah, our game is uh, not gonna be stopping anytime soon. Pretty decent job there. I'm just gonna quickly check how long we've been recording for. Okay, twenty two minutes. Yeah, we're gonna end the recording here soon. But uh, first, let's hire. Really, the monthly cost. I, I don't pay too much mind to it, um, especially later game. Since you just, like, constantly crank out, like, years... I mean, not years. Games start to take, like, years to make. So, that's... Like, if you release a flop, it will really hurt the company. But, at the same time, if you release a couple good ones, you have, like, hundreds of millions in, uh, a couple years from now. And, um, yeah, you're just, like, set and nothing can topple you pretty much anyway we want high design I think uh, to have um, a versatile employee we'll go with Bill J Allen for 18 grand a month who is uh, apparently famous I'm not sure who that's referencing so yeah we're going to do staff welcome training and since uh, we don't currently don't have any things scheduled I think I will just end this here. Um, I'd like to thank you all very much for watching another episode, and have a good one.